Hello. Um, it's just a quick demo of the updated pedal board. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I have man flu. Um, but yeah, it is in its latest incarnation. Um, and I'm trying out this Joyo PXL Pro effects looper. Thus far, I am liking it. Um, generally speaking, the order of the pedal board is... Well, there isn't much of an order really because it's all through looper. But um, I'm using uh, the Godin um, SD22, a uh, fairly recent purchase. Um, <clears throat> so that then goes straight into the um, input of the PXL. The tuner is then from a just a tuner out, which just obviously then can use any old shitty um, patch lead because there's no real signal being taken to it other than for tuning purposes that is not in the loop anymore, that is just a tuner out which is activated by hitting the mute button. Um, hit it once and the um, poly tune is active but so is the speaker, hit it twice and it mutes it and you adjust Just on the poly tune. <laughs> um, so then from there, I'm tuning at the same time. As usual, I'm not prepared at all. So, um, yeah, so from there, loop one is the fuzz pedals. Um, use the fuzz as purse first before the wah, so you get that growly. Growly wah sound that you get when you put a fuzz before a wah, as in the wah has been wiring the fuzz sound. Um, got two fuzzes in place, as in I've got the double muff as well, but the double muff will probably be going. I like the old classic Dodd, uh, classic fuzz. It just fattens up a sound and just gives it a bit more beef. Um, so then in loop two is the um, Crybaby, the Dimebag Daryl Crybaby. Loop three is the HBA, HBE Homebrew Electronics Paradrive, Overdrive and Boost. Yeah, again, mainly used as a clean boost to add more punch to distortion. I use a lot of distortion. Um, four is the UK made Rothwell Tornado. Awesome amp based um, overdrive, which I do believe in bank one, I have it on D which is just that, and then from bypass it goes to, I'll explain the bypass in a bit, um, bypassing it, it goes to the amp distortion. Um, and then you go into the second four, which in theory these four can go through the effects loop. I'm yet to make up those leads to try it. Um, but in the first of that four, I have the chorus. So in general you have eight loops. But in the first of this four, or should I say the fifth loop, I have the TC electronic modulator, um, which at the minute is on preset 1, which is a, a double tri-chorus. Um, a 2 is the flashback, and 3 is the Strymon um, El Capistan, and that's just the little favourite button for the Strymon. Um, so yeah, the Strymon's a lovely little tape delay. <laughs> favourite on is a bit of reverb included as well. Roughly, so how it works. Let's use it a minute. How it works is you preset 
these various banks. There's eight banks, so eight banks of four. Um, a guitar head in the picture. So my bank A is because you can use this to trigger your amp. So my uh, bank A is the amp on overdrive channel using this trigger out, which goes to the foot switch in. Um, using the trigger out is the amp distortion, trigger one is lit up, and loop one is lit up, which is the fuzz. So, um, I hit A again it goes to bypass mode but in bypass mode which is seen by the lights flashing you can then also program whether you want in bypass mode the amp to be switched to its clean channel or its overdrive channel in this example yeah, again I use a lot of overdrive so the amp is still in overdrive channel but obviously the loop is now bypassed so there is nothing so it's just amp so you can hear the thinner sound of just the amp distortion without the fuzz. So I'll play. Then if I activate the loop. Act the loop off. Um, B is amp distortion. Trigger one is activated and loop five, which is the chorus, which is my sort of Stone Turtle Pilots, uh, Dead and Blood and so. This is the issue with the power drive I'm having. After a while, it just starts picking up ink interference. I haven't yet tidied the cables underneath, so I'm going to have a go at tidying the cables and seeing if not, well, I don't know. But so in theory, C is amp distortion and HBE on the boost. But for, for this example, I'll put it on the overdrive instead. And bypassed is just amp. <laughs> D is Rovwell. Um, if I hit D again, it goes to amp distortion. So I can switch between the two, either Rovwell or amp. So amp, Rovwell. basically program any of these to come in at any point so uh, bank 2 first patch A is basically the modulator the flashback and the alcabra stand and the boost which is that riff I was mucking about at the beginning the Back going in, so you've got twin delays. Um, B is then, I think, I believe, is exactly the same but with the Rothwell. So, if that song wanted to pick up, 
up HBE is meant to be the tornado, the Rockwell tornado with the HBE. And then it goes to a clean. So yeah again I can go from the Rockwell tornado Amp overdrive with all the delays and chorus. By hitting B, I then chose to go from the clean channel with all these pedals to a single hit of B, will then simply turn off the loop and activate the amp distortion. So, no delay. As soon as you hit reactivate B. many more programs to be honest. Still playing around with it. Um, this one activates the wire. All played through a little Black Star HT5R head and 1x12 cab. Uh, so, yeah. That's it. You have to let me know what you think. I should be turning this off. I'm using a retarded iPhone to record it, so possibly the most awful. Um, uh, yeah, most awful video you're ever going to watch. Anyway, cheers. Bye bye.